Hey everyone and welcome back to the Keep7 Gaming YouTube channel and today we are checking back in on Teamer Elementals after the Corset 2021 uh, release. Uh, there have been a couple of decks that have been somewhat popularized in the past couple days that feature um, a Teamer Elemental shell with a few inclusions from uh, the Corset 2021 expansion. So you'll be very familiar with a lot of these cards if you've played Teamer Elementals before, either piloted it yourself or played against it in the past. Things like Omnath, uh, or let's start with kind of the uh, ramp suite of Leafkin Druid, Growth Spiral, Risen Reef, and Uro. Uh, and then you have a payoff in Omnath. Uh, and then some of the additions from Ikoria and from M21 would be Genesis Ultimatum. Everybody's probably familiar with it. You know, Teamer Elemental's got a pretty strong, uh, pretty strong addition in Genesis Ultimatum. Uh, but I still feel like it wasn't a you know a tier two or tier one deck uh, even with this addition. Um, it just was still too slow compared to the other you know other cards and decks that were in the uh, in the format at the time. Uh, but two additions it, it received in the Corset 2021 um, expansion were Terror of the Peaks and Ugin. Ugin Spirit Dragon. Um, so. Like with a lot of decks right now, there are a lot of just straight up ramp to Ugin decks in general. Um, so, you know, the Teamer Elemental Shell could just be used as a ramp, uh, you know, a ramp engine to get you get you to your Ugin. Um, and I've seen some decks that include, instead of um, Yorian, they include Ugin. Uh, but I am going to try out the Yorian uh, kind of combo here. And essentially, essentially the, the major addition that Teamer Elementals received was Terror of the Peaks. If you can ramp and have a Terror of the Peaks resolve on the battlefield, you can then use Yorian to blink whatever you have out on the battlefield, have it come back onto the, onto the battlefield by blinking it with Yorian at the beginning of your end step or, uh, or at the beginning of the, the next turn. When everything re returns to the battlefield, you know, Hopefully because you've deployed a bunch of these threats, maybe you have an Uro out there, maybe you have a Cavalier of Thorns out there, an Omnath, a Risen Reef, Leafkin Druid. When they come back onto the battlefield, you can deal damage uh, equal to their uh, power to any target. So you can, you know, if you blink a bunch of these, you know, a bunch of Risen Reefs is just one ones, but if you can blink a Yorian, if you can blink a Leafkin Druid, if you can blink an Omnath, uh, you know, you can get a lot of damage done. If you can blink a Cavalier, you can get a lot of damage done, potentially clear their board, uh, and you have a 5-4 uh, Flyer. Um, on the battlefield. So I just think that's an interesting loop. Uh, Genesis Ultimatum obviously being able to bring out as you know a, a, as many permanents as you can for seven mana, uh, and then using Yorian from you know that point after to just kind of blink everything and kind of get a payoff with Terror of the Peaks. Um, so it's really just ramping into Terror of the Peaks, Cavalier of Thorns, uh, Yorian just being able to blink a lot of this stuff, clear their board, and just kind of start swinging. Other than that, it's pretty much the Teamer Elementals deck that you are familiar with. Um, where I think this fails is the Yorian loop, although powerful, I mean, I guess you're really just going to swing at face with the Yorian loop. You're just going to, you know, anything that comes back onto the battlefield, you just swing at face, you get damage done, and then you can just, you know, hopefully attack from the air with Terror of the Peaks uh, and get the damage you need to win the game. Um, I think Ugin actually might be better. I'm going to test, I'll test out both. Uh, and you can you can watch both and see how they perform. Ugin I think is better because it gives you board clearance. You can just exile everything that's on the field, and then you can kind of take over from there. I mean that's kind of what Ugin decks and ramp Ugin decks do in general. Um, but I think the Yorian loop is just too conditional, too situational. Um, you have to have other things out there. You have to have Terror of the Peaks out, you know, on the battlefield and other cards on the battlefield, which is a difficult thing to do right now. Um, there is a lot of board wipe, but then again, there is there there are a lot of decks that just forego removal in general. There are a lot of ramp decks, and this is just another one. So, you know, if you're in the mirror matchup, I just think that other ramp decks have better payoffs. And you, if you're up against an Ugin ramp deck, they'll just exile your your entire board, and then your Terror of the Peaks, even if you get it resolved, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, I think that you know this deck has a lot of matchups that maybe aren't particularly good for it. But I am interested to see how well it performs, because I've been seeing people say that Teamer Elementals is, is back up on the rise. 
Uh, probably just because it ramps up to Ugin well, and the Yorian loop is good, but I, I just don't think it's as strong as Ugin. So we'll try a couple games with Yorian and see how we perform there, and then we can try a couple games with Ugin and see how we perform there and kind of make a determination on which version we think is better. But for now, what we're going to do is test the Yorian loop with Terror of the Peaks and our Teamer Elemental Shell, and then we'll switch out the two Yorians for two Ugin Spirit Dragons and see if we can get better results. So yeah, without further ado, let's get in some matches. All right, our next opponent for the day is a Vakaset. We've played two aggro decks in a row. Pretty brutal. Uh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. We're gonna keep it though. This is such a bad idea, but. Oh my God, so much ramp and no payoffs. Well, except for Genesis Ultimatum. Oh, why did I play that instead of Castle? Oh, uh, well, either way, we're pretty screwed there. Really flyers. Another aggro deck. Maybe just get some life back here. So this is probably where, like, Yorian is actually better. Considering we're playing so much aggro, maybe Yorian's just the move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up to seven with the next play, and we can Genesis Ultimatum and hope to God we find something. But... I don't know that we have much to stabilize against. prepares to play Azorius Flyers anymore. That really should have just made sure that I needed that, but lucky enough for me, that was needed. Uh, guy with Reach. That's dope. We're going to get a bunch of triggers off of Reach. We'll keep Genesis Ultimatum. We'll keep Terror of the Peaks. Put that onto the battlefield tapped. We'll keep Leafkin Druid. Put Ketria Triumph on tap. We'll put that on tap. Oh man, this is ridiculous. Uh, do that. And just tap. We'll get rid of a growth spiral and we'll play from there. So we could Terror of the Peaks and then Yorian next turn. Dungeon Geist or Cavalier of Thorns. Two for six. Two for six. Do we risk a Genesis Ultimatum or do we go for the six with Uro? I think actually just another flyer. Back. 
Okay, so this is how powerful this can be. Literally just clearing our deck of land. We might deck out here. Terror of the Peaks. Okay, but we still have a Cavalier of Thorns and a Yorian you need to contend with. The good thing is we have Omnath. I should have pointed Terror of the Peaks at face. Alright, so that's pretty dope. cards do I have left? Nine. We decked ourselves. Wow. <laughs> Did not expect that. So that's super powerful, but man, oh man, the two Risen Reefs, I think, is what got me. Um, you can switch to Terror. Terror of Youth deals damage equal to that creature to any target. We should have killed our own Risen Reefs at some point to stop those triggers from happening. Alright, so we had another game where if we had a Yorian, I mean, if we had an Ugin instead of a Yorian, we probably would have won. And it was because they had a bunch of shrines that we just didn't see coming. So I really think that Board Wipe is just so much better than the Yorian loop. So we'll add into Ugin the Spirit Dragons. We will see. So our next opponent is Malakon. A lot of ramp, no payoffs. Whoops. <laughs> oh, that's dumb. Um, try. More land. Untapped land. Yeah, we'll keep it. Here, we draw Terror of the Peaks. Can't be played from graveyards. Good thing that our Uro doesn't really matter. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see here. Um, yeah, let's put a little bit out. He can attack with the Kuzmanos, Hound of Theros, or whatever. And... Oh, cool dark. Poor little Risen Reef. Get a 
terror that peeks out. Maybe he's got another murderous rider. The Uro in our hand is basically six points of damage that we can kill the Kun whatever with, and then we don't have to worry about Uro not being able to come back from the graveyard. No blocks. We can't block. Why can't we block? Uro, this is going to be six points of damage. We will point it at the Kurilada. Blah, 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 blah. We don't really have too many plays here anyway. Six damage. Let's fire off a growth spiral. Take the life. Fire off another growth spiral. There's an Omnath. We got our 5 4 flyer doing some work for us. We basically played those growth spirals so that we can play hopefully an Ugo next turn, but doesn't matter. I guess their game plan hinged on that Karina's dog. Alright, so one game with Ugin, we didn't even get him and we won. So, based on our sample size, Ugin's better than Yorian. Druid, Risen Reef, Omnath. This is like a decent hand. Just wish it had better ramp. Ketria. I mean, we can get the Leafkin down just as a blocker. I usually like using Risen or Leafkin Druid as a. I guess Omnath will have to do that for us. Shock in Stomping Ground to get in Risen Reef. And the next turn we'll do that. None to. Ooh. We're not emptying our hand anymore with Sir Thomas. With the Leafkin Druid. Get the untapped land that doesn't hurt us first. Um, oh, that's two triggers for Omnath. We should have played Omnath first. That's an oops. Is destruction your only art? Assert dominant? Nah, just kidding. <coughs> So she's just dead on the field. Can't do anything. One, two, three, four, five. Just beef up our Risen Reef here. Make it a two, two. because we weren't going to attack with the Leafkin Druid. We Genesis Ultimatum, get you out, get you out. That's a good one. there. Get you up. Get you up. Trigger, trigger, triggers. Okay, action. Let's see what's at the top of our deck. Um... Up. I don't think we need more lands at this point. <laughs> it's just too much for the opponent. <laughs> Alright, so our next opponent is what the fuck is MTG? What the fuck is Magic the Gathering? It's a 
game that you're playing currently. Bad hand. Still pretty bad. <laughs> we have one ramp spell and nothing till turn four as far as board presence. But hey, if we get there... <laughs> Find an Ugin, we can destroy them. There's the Ugin we want. What's your game plan here? What do you have like lava coils and stuff? Cavalier of Thorns down. <clears throat> or we can get Terror of the Peaks down. And then we can Cavalier of Thorns next turn, get a lot of damage in. They're leaving mana open. Ember. That's super. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. When it dies, we can put something on the top of our deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Have a shock. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna play a couple games against my friend, and I don't think he's gonna have like top tier meta decks that I'm gonna have to worry about or super aggressive decks. So we're gonna go back to Yorian and just see how it does if you're casually playing against your friend. See if we can overwhelm him with the. Uh, with this combo, we'll see how well it does. But uh, overall, if you're playing in the meta, I think Yori, I mean, U Ugin is just the better card to use. Um, just because board clearance, I just think, is so much more important. Especially if you're playing against aggro. Like, if you're playing in best of one, where aggro is extremely popular, you want Ugin and not Yorian. If you're playing in best of three, I mean, you can always put Ugin in the, in the uh, sideboard. And there's actually, I might do. What do we get rid of? We don't need four love struck beast. There, boom. So in best of three, now you have Ugin in the sideboard. You can play him. All right. So yeah, we'll test him out against a friend and we'll see how it goes. See if he thinks that the uh, see what he thinks of the Yorian and Terror of the Peaks loop. <clears throat> Alright, so this is a pretty solid starting hand, except I'd like more ramp. I am against a friend. I don't know what he's running.
Well, we drew into Growth Spiral, so that's pretty solid. Ah, oh, he's... Okay, he's probably playing... Uh, So Vantress Gargoyle, that's interesting. So he's playing a mill deck. Oh, what an ass! <laughs> Fuck you, man. I need those lands. So he's kind of misplaying here because he's exiling my graveyard, so it's an interest gargoyle. He is getting rid of a lot of our key pieces though, which kind of sucks. Might be best to just calm that. I think we go fetch a green just to make absolutely sure we can cavalier thorns. Beef up our risen reef. Cavalier of Thorns here. Or we can... Risen Reef, and Risen Reef. I think we can spend one more turn to do this. To Risen Reef and Growth Spiral. Because we really want our mana to just explode into Genesis Ultimatum. Because that's what's going to end the game for us. <clears throat> you there, buddy? We need to just have an explosion of effects here. We have a lot of tools in our hand in case things go wrong. But if we can just get mana onto the battlefield, I think we're good. I think we're in good shape. We get another cav. We get another risen reef. Huh. Um. <laughs> dare I say we do another risen reef? One, two, three, four, five. 
Son of a bitch, no lands. I want this Risen Reef to die, so I hope he blocks with the Vantress Gargoyle. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can Genesis Ultimatum now. Comfortably. is a bad matchup for us because we could mill ourselves out, but... I think we'll pair of people here. <clears throat> and we'll Uro, which is going to be 6 damage. We'll get two triggers from the Fabled Passage on our Omnath. I think it's safe to beef up both of our Maiden Reefs. And we'll attack with all three, hopefully forcing a block from our opponent. Maybe even a double block, potentially. I think we leave one Risen Reef back. If he wants to double block with the Persistent Partitioners, he can. Aha, perfect. We want that Risen Reef to die because we don't want to get milled out. this point. We start aiming upstairs.
after a so. few games. Um, I think it's pretty clear. Uh, I think Ugin is better than Yorian if you're going to play these. Um, so if you if you want to play Yorian and go for the really awesome Terror of the Peaks combo thing, I would at the very least, you know, if you're going to play best of three, put Ugin in the sideboard. If you come up against a more aggro-based deck, Ugin is going to be a better choice than Yorian. Um, and overall, Terror of the Peaks doesn't really do much. You know, Genesis Ultimatum and Terror of the Peaks really still, I don't think, pull Teamer Elementals into top tier. Uh, you know, I... If Sultai Ramp is considered, you know, if S tier is Bant Ramp and all that, and A tier is Sultai Ramp, this is B tier or lower. Um, you know, this can be extremely powerful, but if you can't get this deck off the ground, you are dead in the water. Um, which those two phrases combined make no sense. But um, Risen Reef is just super slow. If Risen Reef is going to be your ramp engine, you're going to lose. You need to have Growth Spiral and Uro. Um, because Risen Reef is just too slow of a ramp engine, and there's no guarantee that you'll be able to trigger it with other Risen Reefs, other, you know, Leaf Can Drew, other Elementals, I should say. Um, but the Yorian Terror of the Peaks loop is awesome. You know, if you can get this thing going, if you can really get the the engine humming on this deck, it can be super fun and o completely overwhelming for your opponent. I mean, as you saw, a lot of players saw the amount of triggers that I was getting and just quit right then and there. Um, but you are dead in the water a lot of times against aggro, decks that run a lot of interaction because you're not running a lot of interaction decks that run a lot of interaction can really kind of mess up your game plan and you know significant well i guess significant disruption to any game plan is 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 bad but like this deck is extremely interactable and there's not much you can do to protect yourself to protect your game plan it can be kind of tough to rebuild um especially you know if you're relying upon risen reef as a uh as a ramp trigger so you know you want a starting hand in this deck to have growth spiral and uro um you know risen reef would be cool but you know i think risen reef is better if you genesis ultimatum for it um i think probably what you want is just like uro growth spiral maybe leaf can drew it to for anti-aggro uh and just really just get these lands out and then genesis ultimatum and hope you kind of get any mix of these things out there but it's fun. I think it's definitely more fun than... It's the most fun I've had playing Teamer Elementals, especially once you do the Terror of the Peaks, Yorian, or Ugin, and, and all that, and Genesis Ultimatum Terror of the Peaks. You know, that this is the most fun I've had playing Elementals in a long time. But it's still, I don't think, as strong... I don't think it's one of the best decks in the format right now by any stretch of the imagination. But it is very fun. So, you know, if you... And this, you know, if you have pretty much all of the uh, the only new card from m21 here is terror of the peaks so it's a pretty cheap you know it's just three mythic rares that you need to craft if you have the rest of these from the expansions beforehand which you probably should uh especially uro is probably one of the best cards out there right now and like the rest of these you know have been out for a while you know if you have all the pieces all you need is three terror of the peaks and four genesis ultimatums potentially if you if you didn't get them in Ikoria. Uh, and you and you and you can make this deck, and then also obviously two Ugins, so five mythics from five mythics from uh, M21, and you're done. That's uh, that's not so bad. So yeah, it, it's fun. It's the most fun I've had playing Elementals in a long time. Uh, it per has performed better than the Elemental decks that I've played in the past, but it's still not, you know, it's still not breaking. You playing this on the ladder, you're probably still losing uh, quite a few games. This is probably like a 50% or lower. Um, win ratio on ladder, depending on where you are. But yeah, it's fun. If you have wild cards to spare, or if you have all these crafted, it's it's fun to play around with. You know, it's a creature based deck. You 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 know you establish a nice board presence, and it can be kind of fun. So yeah, I I, I recommend it as a fun deck to play. I don't recommend it as something you would c try to climb through ranked with. You can probably get into gold and through gold with this, but you know p beyond that, people are probably gonna crush you with what they have. So. Go out there, have fun, have some fun with elementals again. We'll catch you in the next one.